It's already over. We're barely out of all of springs and we've fallen apart. Please, you must help reunite us. None of us can make it to Oregon alone. Who are you? I'm Thomas Farnham, but collectively we're known as the Peoria Party. We left from the county of Peoria intent on blazing a trail straight through Oregon. We organize ourselves as military wood, strict, careful, disciplined. In this fashion, we adopted the name of the Oregon Dragoons. I led the troop. Things are going well for a time, a brief time. And as you can see, we're nowhere near Oregon and we've already split. Tensions were simply building beyond repair. Even as a group, we were struggling. I can't imagine any of us would survive for long alone. Please, you must reunite us. None of us can make it to Oregon alone. Okay, fine. Thank you. All right, can you carry me? I've got a broken leg. You'll be well served to take some clothes and medicine with you. If any of the boys are injured, they may require immediate attention on the trail. Oh, okay. I'm sure I will save it for them. You'll find my boys scattered across the trail at various places. I'll make my way to the Blue Mountains. Say hi to the dwarves. Please rescue as many dragoons as you can on the way there. Okay, one dragoon medallion. Let's see how much we can sell that for. Nice. Did they give me... They, wait, they didn't give me stuff I can use on myself? What? What? Is this hard mode? No, this is normal. I think. Why? Does this seem hard? 32 miles. We got this. The oxen buck and rear knocking bows into the ground as the wagon lurches to a stop. A loud crack rings out from the wagon. The impact is too much for Bowser and she succumbs to her wounds. She's driving home right now. She said specifically not to kill her. Valkyrie, your life force is running out. She said not to kill her. Do you know what you deserve for that? No. Cold hand. Oh, that's cold. I had one job. I know. It appears a twisted stick lies on the trail, shaped eerily like a snake and spooking the oxen. The oxen refuse to step near it. The stick is thrown into the grass, and Rose Claire tries to calm the oxen down. On inspection, it appears the wagon has sustained some damage in the commotion. While the wagon is still functional this time, the party would consider repairing the damage before it gets worse. Who should repair the wagon? Rose Claire. Two hours lost, wagon condition plus two. It's hard work, but Rose Claire repairs. All right. Um, anything in a bad spot? No? We're good? Oh, we have to, we have to pick this up somehow. Uh. Oh, God. Uh. You see any way to make this work? Tetra style? I don't think so, right? Maybe like that? Can I fit there? Yeah, okay, cool. Okay, cool. Bowser has died. What should her epitaph say? Modest and gentle Bowser. Um, should we do randomize? Here lies Bowser. Among the stars, she will find hunger. <laughs> you can write your own? Huh? Yeah, well, look, you can edit it like this. Ready? So, which one would you like? Here lies Bowser. She said not to kill me while I was driving home. Here lies good old Bowser. Um, you gotta pick these. You gotta pick one. Dance on, Bowser. What? Dance on. Dance on, Bowser. Left it all for a better life. Where? Up. Left it all for a better life, but instead found pepperoni and cheese. Pepperoni and cheese. Here we go. Don't tell her I picked that, okay? Thank you. That's the first thing I'm going to tell her. If you, do, you didn't die, you... Uh, okay, yes, you did. You can't die for pepperoni and cheese. The group notices the flower supply is getting low. We should make some hardtack. All right, um, it's 120 pounds. Is that low? I don't think that's low. Should we cook 36 to make 54? All right, fine. Two hours lost. Okay, whatever. Bless you. 
since you're down two people you can increase the food to oh you're right i can that's true look at you cuddly shark looking at the bright side hey since two of your people died you can eat more every day it's true Cassie B. Oh, no. Now we can have filling meals. It's only eight pounds a day. Oh wait, not meager. Why didn't it save? Filling. Filling. Or did Cassie save. B die of cholera? No, she got swept down the river. Oh. oh. I don't know why it still says meager up there. Oh, it changes the next day. Oh, okay. One more mile. I think we're gonna make it. Read that. An inferno buzzing fills the air. Swarms of flies <laughs> plague the party, attracted by ox and bison chips. The party is disgusted by the putrescent, putrescent experience. But you made it. You love that they use real locations. They not only do they use real locations, they teach you a whole bunch of stuff, like the purity party. The Peoria party? Like, these are all real, like, things. I'm sure if we looked up Samuel Pepper, he was probably a real dude. I'm sure these, these, I'm sure a, lo a lot of this is all based on real stuff, which is cool. Ahead, a cluster of buildings is laid out in a square about four acres wide, surrounding a copse of cottonwood trees. As the wagon approaches, the sound of lively bustling, lively bustling comes into earshot. We arrived at the fort. Who would like to heal? Who would you like to heal? Um, both of them. How can I heal both? Heal one and let the other die. Guide now available. You can now start from Kearney. You unlocked a new journey, winter migration. Okay, so this is a different journey you could do. Help Stila train her son in the ways of survival as they travel towards the winter hunting grounds. Successful completion unlocks the physician class and multiple new journeys. Ah, you can exit the main menu and play unlock journeys at any time. Don't worry, your progress in the current journey will always be saved. Nice. Leg one of five, the Great Plains completed. So that's cool. So now we've unlocked this uh, kind of like waypoint from now, from now on. We reach Fort Kearney. Twenty-one days. Ted says, apparently Samuel Pepper was indeed a real person. Pepper Grain noticed as he attempted to sail his wagon from Oskaloosa to Eastern Colorado. Pepper was born in Wayne County, Ohio on September 20th, 1833 and died in Oskaloosa in 1916. So that's really cool. Really interesting. Thanks for the uh, heads up on that. So how do you get new people? They fall from the sky. Well, that's nice. I like that. I wonder if we just start. We can save this one and start a new journey. Hold on. Let's go back to the main menu. When everyone dies, you start over. Pause your current journey and visit the main menu. Yeah. And that way we can get some more, more people in here. Winter migration. And they have weekly events here too. Gallery to redeem tokens. I've got zero tokens.
Wait, is that a fishing event? What was the other weekly event? There was a fishing event here. Quick play, gone fishing? Oh, you can't rename people in specific journeys, only the Oregon Trail? Oh, really? Oh, okay. That stinks. I got a Utah chub. Does it have to be in a fishing hole? Maybe. <laughs> you caught me. Oh my God. Old tin can. Ooh, nice size. Got a four inch one. Hey, Dropper, what's up? Common carp. Common carp, common carp. Game. You caught a veritable ocean worth of fish. Um, I don't think you're right. That's my new best. Okay. So maybe we start a new, a new run. So how does this work? So if I reset. But I can still start where we were, right? Pushed west. Can I start where I was? No, you think you lose it all? Really? I thought there was a checkpoint. I wanted to roll new people and have more more characters, you know. Good to see some new faces on the trail. I hope your journey is going well. Oh no, is this Ava's dad? She ran off to me with some flap doodle. If you see her, tell her we'll be waiting at Fort Laramie for four days. When that happens, after that, it's her problem. Isn't that where she was meeting the guy anyway? If you keep her eye out for me, I will make it worth your while. Should I tell um I know not a flap doodle. Nah. Let Ava be who she wants to be. As many people are traveling west. Uh Jane, let's see what Jane says. Mommy, mommy, look, it's the people from before. The ones that didn't help us at all. My mom, you're right, Mary. Hello there, travelers. See, I told you they would make it. I'm relieved to see you safe, friends. No, we're not safe. One of us died. Literally, one of us died since you met us. 
after you were unable to determine what was wrong with our wagon, we had to wait and pray. Thankfully, not long after you left, a wagon train arrived and we were able to buy a new wagon. It was expensive, but it saved our lives. You wanted our food and you had enough to buy a wagon? <laughs> and you didn't offer us money for the food? Mommy, mommy, tell them about the gift. Hush, Mary, I will. My daughter stressed that we should repay your kindness and I wouldn't want to disappoint her. Please take this. Jane hands the party a small wrapped gift. Enough. Even though we weren't able to fix our wagon, you stopped to help. That meant a lot to us. Oh, we got a harmonica. It was my daughter's idea, so I hope you'll accept the gift. Okay, thank you. Bye. All right, we got a harmonica. William Thomas. Ladies and gentlemen, are you tired of hitching your wagon to an odiferous pack of oxen? What if I told you there's a better way, a new mode of transportation that'll change your life forever? An enthusiastic gentleman is giving a speech to anyone who will listen. Forget everything you know about traveling by wagon train. What I propose is nothing less than a total revolution in overland travel. But how is that possible, you say? He pauses for dramatic effect. My overland navigation company will take all the guesswork out of westward travel. Why, all you need to do is rent a seat on one of my fantastic conventions and pack your finest clothes. I, William Thomas, will take a very... Translation, we'll take care of everything else. And what is this invention? I hear you ask. Imagine, if you will, a grand fleet of prairie schooners, all operating on wind power. Yes, you heard that right. Wind power. It carried our forebears across the Atlantic Ocean, and now it shall carry you across the continent. There's plenty of wind on the prairie. I say, why not make use of it? Now, all you need to do is build the first prototype as a small investment in Oz. I'm an honest man. I'll offer a generous percentage to anyone who assists me. Mention Samuel Peppard. You say Samuel Peppard is working on a wagon powered by the wind? What a strange kawinky dink. I assure you, I developed my idea for the Overland Navigation Company quite on my own. Clearly, the young man respects me so greatly that he intends to imitate my work. Now, all I need to do is build the first prototype as a small investment. And as I'm an honest man, I'll offer a generous percentage to anyone who assists me. Uh, oh, I can mention the... No, I'm not. You know what? I'm going to discourage him. I like the other guy. You're skeptical of my project. I understand why. If I had not drawn up the plans myself, I'd be skeptical too. That is why it is of utmost importance that my efforts are funded to persuade thoughtful citizens such as yourself. If you could see a genuine working prototype, I'm certain you would maybe be lining up to take a ride. Maybe. Maybe. We don't have a gun. We don't have bullets. We don't have a big Louie. All right, store, do we have money? What do we got? 26 money. Well, crap. Well, crap. Well, maybe. Well, crap. Well, crap. Whoa, okay. So we're gonna need, I guess we buy two repairs. That's it. That's all I can do. Trade. Trade supplies. Three wheel grease. They want 73 flour. Offers 41 bullets. I'm not going to be able to afford that, am I? He wants 911 hardtack for that? Five dragoon? No, nope. okay. Uh, 73 flour. I could trade the dragon medallion for it. No. I think we're just going. Press trade services. Oh. Barber for hygiene. So wait, can I look at my peoples? 
Oh, all of our hygiene and everything is restored, right? Oh no. Hers is not. She's fine. Did that not work? A barber can restore hygiene. Okay. Cost five dollars. That's all I got. I should probably heal instead of using the barber. Right? Home at last. How's it going? Glad you made it home. Nice and safe. How's it? Just ignore this part of the screen over here. Don't look at that. Don't look at that. It's fine, though. Everything will be fine. What manner of treatment do you wish? I can't do it. Why is it not letting me do anything? Turn that off. Here we go. Lindsay. Maybe he can't help. Oh, I have no money. Is that what it is? Alright, let's do the hygiene then. This is so confusing the way they do the interface. Alright, there we go. She's got the hygiene. Do you enjoy tombstone pizza? We need new people. Um. All right, if we restore Lindsay's health, we get a whole bunch of food. All right, gang, we got about 50 minutes left in the stream. Thank you so much for all your uh, support today. We're raising money for Ukraine. If you want to find out more about it, Tide Exclamation Point Charity. Uh, one of our partners, Care, is matching all donations today. Um, we've raised $5,300 today so far. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. All right. I don't know what's going to happen now that we only have two people, but let's see what happens when you were driving you had a sharp pain in your leg any idea what happened uh no not at all did you get cheese and pepperoni though as the party leaves the clearing behind their minds wander to those who are yet to follow how many more will brave the trail following in their footsteps i don't know why we're leaving with just two people While feeding the oxen, Lindsay observes that one of the beasts seems lethargic. It's breathing labored. It might be sick. A full day's rest or additional food may well restore its vigor. Uh. Give the ox 30 flour. With the extra nutrition, the ox seems to make it through the worst of the sickness without taking a turn. Woo! Okay. Can we stop? Stop right there! Before we go any further, do you love me? Will you love me forever? Do you need me? Is there any reason to repair uh, an exposed over uh I guess to make stuff like that, I guess. I don't know. Oh man, I thought this was Oregon Trail. That happens later after everyone's dead. Yeah. All right, let's leave it like that. Give 
Give me all the bison. Oh god, what do these people want? The party's waved down by a young woman by the side of the trail. She looks to be in a rather desperate situation. Join us! Oh, it's Alice. Oh, no, that's Ava. We're like, okay. She looks like Ava. Hey, Mixroll, what's up? Interesting to see you on at this time. We're doing a charity stream. Yeah. We'll be wrapping up in about 45 minutes. Please stop! We're in need of your help! The woman calls out to the party. Now, what's the use in that, Alice? They're just going to ignore us like the last lot. Or worse, how many caravans has been announced? Nobody wants anything to do with us. Well, do you have cooties? I still have faith, Joseph. There are good people on this trail, and I know someone will help us. Please, travelers, we've run desperately low on food. We've gone hungry night after night. You must help us. The pair certainly looks hungry, but the party has to consider their own situation, too. Should the party offer some food? 30 food? Ask what happened. We escaped from our owner and we're trying to make our way to safety, but they don't need to know that, Alice. We've run out of food. Surely we can't tell, tell them that much. All right, offer 30 food. The party offers what little food they can spare. Thank you. You don't know how much this means to see, Joseph. Didn't I tell you someone would help us? All right, I can admit I was wrong. Thanks, strangers. Yay! Loyalty, attitude, wit, composure, morale, forlorn, recover. Ooh, that made Lindsay, that warmed her heart. There we go. It's just hard to trust people, even this far west. I have to protect my family, make sure they stay free. It's a responsibility I don't take lightly. All right, well, why don't you join us? And what happened there? I don't know. She just like threw up. Wait, we know. Okay, we're doing strenuous but filling. Maybe we should calm down on the meals a little. Let's go to meager meals. Six per day. All right. I'm so glad you pronounced my state right. It hurts to have non-natives pronounce it wrong. I said Oregon most of my life, however. But yeah, I've changed. I have changed. Bowser, you heard it all, Bog? Dysentery twice, broken leg, and kicked in the face by the oxen? <laughs> you, were you listening to it in the car? <laughs> oh, man. Touch the horsies? I will. Oregon. Oregon. All right. Party comes across a field of lush grass. Perfect for grazing. It's a good spot to give the oxen a break if there's time to spare. Rest. Can't click the horses yet. Rose Claire loses health. 23 hours lost. Oh my god. Alright, let's go down. I think we'll go down here to the food. Is this berries? Is that what this is? Yeah. I can't click the horses. Crows! White bison! Rose Claire spies a wounded jackrabbit limping amidst the grass off the trail. It's a vorpal bunny! Hide! A swift gunshot would put it out of his misery and provide a little food beside. Who should take the shot? Do we have a gun to shoot? Where are we getting gun from, huh? Shooting undiscovered. We don't know what their shooting skills are like at all. But Rose Claire is an adventurer and Lindsay's an athletic. Healthy, strong, and enjoys physical activities. I'm going to go with Rose Claire on this one. All right, I guess we do have a gun. It seems the gun is not loaded. I could have told you that. Maybe throw the gun at it? Yeah, that might have helped. The jackrabbit, unaware of how close it came to death, simply limps off into the grass. Tackle it! It deliberately wasted my time there. Trail food! Trail food! Everybody loves trail food! All right, let's harvest.